Navigation! Prepare to dock. Confirmed. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. When you need to move things around, medium traders are your go-to vessels. And rightly so. They are such a good mix of speed, affordability, and cargo space that it makes you wonder why you would ever choose to use this big guy. Well, for many of your needs, you wouldn't. But that doesn't mean there is no reason to use the large traders. Quick side note on the small traders. I've only really used them to transport food and supplies for habitation workers, so I don't have a lot of experience with them outside of that. Food is low volume, but constant deliveries to different stations, so these speedy little guys work very well for that. These pilots get paid per delivery, and very little at that, so some degree of reckless driving coupled with an unhealthy amount of negligence is to be expected. Successfully docked. Also, it just feels weird to use a bigger ship. Could you imagine ordering in a burger and instead of a car pulling up, this huge semi-truck shows up instead? That's got to be a bad business model. The first time I ever bought a large trader was for research materials. The quantities needed will start to scale pretty high the farther to the right you go on the research tree. Now, I could have sent out a fleet of medium traders, but I didn't want to deal with that. I just queued up a few orders and let the big guy go, then not worry about it for an hour or so. Ease of mind has a subjective value, true, but for me it was worth the additional cost and credits. If your PHQ doesn't yet have a peer, you can have your large trader dump the wares into the build storage, and then transfer to the station storage using your smaller medium ships. The next large trader I bought was for boarding. Piracy counts, there are transactions. Instead of hull parts or scanning arrays, I'm trading bullets. No, bigger bullets. Hostile corporate takeovers are legal actions, I'm sure this is what they meant by that. Fun fact, that last statement used to be far more true than it had any right to be. But back to boarding. The large traders have really high crew capacities. The Shiaku Vanguard, the highest of them all, at 225 marines. You can do the same using multiple medium traders, but they kept blowing up on me. I know I just wasn't getting the timing right. A little bit more practice and I would have figured it out, but you don't need any of that with the large ships. They have enough shields and hull that elegance isn't required. You can use your overwhelming mass and numerous marines to just barrel over the enemy and still come out the victor. But what I use large traders for most of the time is moving wares between stations. Not a big surprise there, but I only do it for certain stations. I like to use a lot of smaller stations, for those medium traders work just fine. But then I have some larger ones, like this engine parts factory. With 8 production modules, it can keep the storage containers full enough so that my large trader always leaves with the maximum load. Once again, I could have used more traders, but in this case, I prefer to use the large trader due to how where reservations work. The price that a station is willing to buy is determined by its current supply. If I were to take a bunch of traders, all loaded with the same ware, and make separate sell orders to the same station, each successive trader will sell their haul for less. The station manager calculates a ware reservation towards its current supply, which is why the buy offer price will keep going down. A single large trader can sell that same amount, but all at once, so there will be no price drop. Now when it comes to arming your large traders, this is one of the few times that I would recommend using missile turrets. Missiles can offload a huge amount of damage very quickly, but it can't sustain it for very long before the ammunition is exhausted. This type of weapon system complements these vessels very well, as they don't have the durability for an extended engagement. When ambushed by a Xenon raiding party, you need to destroy as many of those ships as quickly as you can to buy more time for Sector Patrol to arrive and assist. That doesn't mean you should go for a full missile loadout. You can only hold 30 missiles at a time, although each turret allows you to hold an additional 10 missiles. Two to four missile turrets seem to be ideal, with the rest being made up of standard gun turrets. I also like to bring along some laser towers. The Mark 1 is fine, as you're not relying on them for their damage output. Instead, I use them as beacons, a type of warning sign. If I see some laser towers out in the middle of nowhere, then I know that's where one of my large traders fought a raiding party. If I see a cluster of them, 
that means this area of space might be a bit dangerous. At this point, it might be best to send some combat vessels over there to patrol the area. When it comes to Terrans and Split, there is another factor we have to consider, and that is the highway. Specifically, that you don't have one. Medium traders can use the highway, which gives them a huge speed advantage. Large traders, try as hard as they might, can't do anything with it. With that speed difference negated, the choice between medium and large becomes less black and white and moves closer to personal preference. Like in this example in Terran space. Here I have two Okinawas moving energy cells from Mercury to my trade station in Jupiter. I chose those two over a fleet of Baldricks because I could, and I don't feel like I'm being penalized for it. Personal preference, I just like the bigger ships. These are the reasons I use the large traders. They are niche reasons, but large traders are niche ships. I would like to know how everyone else uses them, if there is something I missed, besides as a bulldozer for clearing out elite vanguards. But before we go, if you liked the video or found this helpful, please give a click to all the good buttons at the bottom and share so that more people can see it. Until next time, fly safe.